Third day, search teams are looking for 79-year-old Hal Warth. He was last seen Sunday night. They're using drones, a helicopter, horses, even canoes in a nearby creek. Well, so far, crews have searched 1,000 acres. That's about 1.6 square miles. And now to give you some perspective, downtown Jacksonville is about 1.9 square miles. We have continuing coverage of this big story, including how search teams are dealing with the heat. But first, we begin with Channel 4's Janice Harris, and she spent the day with search teams. Janice. Yes, it's a massive space, and Hal Warth has been missing for over 72 hours now, and searchers say there's no trace of him. Take a listen. At this point, we don't know. He still may be alive. There, there is nothing uh, to indicate that he's not alive. Now, all of the search teams, they left about an hour ago, but the command center will remain here overnight. They have security to watch it. They're hopeful that they'll find him alive, but one other concern is that he can barely speak from previous strokes. As one team leaves the dense forest, another enters looking for any trace of 79-year-old Hal Warth. You could, you could get lost very easily, and that's why we've got even the volunteer search teams that are out here, if they're, if they're citizens that aren't used to doing grid searches and stuff like that, we're actually assigning them. John Ward is the deputy director of Clay County's Emergency Management Agency. He's keeping a close eye on the volunteers in these thick woods. Aside from the heat, it's also difficult because of this thick wooded area, acre upon acre. And there's other dangers too. There's the possibility of bears and snakes. In day three, Hal's son has returned in nearly 150 searchers from as far as Orlando, others just miles away. Some of these searchers are from the same group that helped search for Lonzi Barden. You know, it's like family. If it was, you know, my dad or my grandfather out there, I would want people out looking for him too. Some of the people who can't help search have brought supplies. I live in Orange Park now, but for 25 years we lived in Middleburg, so it's it's close to home. As day three ends, a plan for day four. And after we do the 500 acres there, then we're going to evaluate how much longer we're going to go uh, with that search. It may become more of an investigation. Clay County Sheriff's also told us that Hal Warth has friends as far away as St. Augustine. It's possible that he could be with friends, but they're not saying that just yet. Now, also with this search tomorrow, they're going to shift to the southwest, southeast areas as well to see if they can find him there. Volunteers are welcome to arrive tomorrow again at 9 a.m. and then again at, at noon. They want to have two separate shifts. So volunteers are welcome to come out again tomorrow to find 79-year-old Hal Warth. Live at Jenny State Park, Jenny's Harris, Channel 4, the local station. Today, yesterday, and Monday, we had feel-like temperatures of around 100 degrees. Because of that extreme heat, the search for Hal Warth is taking a toll on those who are looking for him in and around Jennings State Forest. Channel 4's Bakari Savage continues our coverage with a look at their resilience. You've already had to have two deputies be treated for dehydration. They had to have IVs. Organizers are trying to get people out of the sun by about 3 or 4 o'clock because that's when it gets really hot out. We have been, they start, obviously we've seen our folks out here at, at 07 this morning, and we've been pulling them out of the woods generally about 3.30, 4 o'clock. They're out of the woods just because that's when we're starting to get so hot, and the, the ladies and gentlemen have been out here all day long in the heat. You have the sun made hotter by the thick woods, and then add in the humidity, and the search of Jennings State Forest for 79-year-old Hal Worth is a tough one. But that doesn't stop volunteers, like this military wife, Kelly Hall. As prepared as you can get, I guess, you know. I'm not excited about bugs and stuff, but, you know, it's, you know, you do what you have to do, and, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get through, and it's more important to, to do the right thing than it is to worry about that stuff, you know. I got water. I'm good. Carrying a camelback full of water, Hull is giving up precious time with her family, braving the conditions to help another family in need. Worth was last seen Sunday. Because of strokes, he can't talk, making this search even more difficult. Two deputies have already been treated for dehydration. John Ward with Clay County Emergency Management says if you can't handle the heat, you can still help keep them hydrated. Pretty much just water, water in their Gatorade or something like that. Is if they want to bring something out, that's pretty much what they're taking. Food, we've got the food, the feeding taken care of. So I hate to get you know bits and pieces of food, but it's the water and Gatorade if they wanted to bring something to donate, to help the cause. 
If you are coming out here to help search, just like that military wife, Kaylee Hull, bring your own water and, of course, dress appropriately. In Jennings State Forest, I'm Bakari Savage, Channel 4, The Local Station.